Hey guys, so this is um, a Photoshop tutorial, really simple. We're gonna, I'm gonna be starting with really simple tips and this is just turning a normal image and making it more professional looking, more bold, more defined, more focused on the imagery and that is by making it black and white. Now there are many ways to make an image black and white using Photoshop but I've experimented with about three of the different ways and there's actually one way that makes it the most um, it has a really good transition when you change it to black and white because some of the methods actually when you make it black and white it makes it blurry and pixely. So the very first thing we're going to do is we have our image plain image straight from the camera is we're going to move we're going to put everything on default so as you can see my foreground is not on default just click on this thing and it goes back to black and white. Now I'm going to make Actually, we don't really need to do that. Okay, so we're going to right click and layer from background and that makes it so we can edit it and there's no lock on it and it's no longer the background image. And then click on that just because we're not really going to be painting anything. Now click image, adjustments, and how about brightness and contrast. First, I already like to bring up the color and the lines. So you're going to just bring these dials up. As you can see, it makes the image a lot more bright and defined. Now, if there's any blemishes in your image, you should get rid of them before you do any color changing. Now, I'm, there's many ways to do this. You can use the Band-Aid, the healing brush tool, or the clone stamp. But I'm going to use this. So press Control... No. Control for Windows users and for Mac, press Command or the Apple key and then the plus side. Okay, so I want to get rid of that little thing because to me it looks like a blemish and this is also for the sake of showing you how. And first we have to define the area, so go on an area that is clean, press option and then click and now we have our defined area and cover. We're going to zoom back out, control minus. Now the fun part. Go to Image, Adjustments, Gradient Map. And normally this goes to black and white. And this is the most clean way to make something black and white. Do not desaturate it or um, you know, turn down the hue because that makes it pixely. Try to use the Gradient Map instead. So I don't know what that does. Click OK. And that's basically it. If you really want to make it a lot more you know, dramatic lighting, you can use the brightness and contrast or you can use curves. And they're kind of the same thing to me. I think you have more control with curves. So normally my procedure is to bring this area down and to bring this area up. And you know, you can play around with it. Obviously every picture has a different lighting style. If you're going for the professional look, you might want to make it not too dramatic because it'll look obvious that it's heavily photoshopped. And that goes for me. Now if you really want to get um, a pure white background, you can use the magic tool and click and delete and then have a white layer behind it. Or you can get a paintbrush. Now set it, make sure it's on normal and how about right there. No, that's too small. Okay, that's fine. Oops. Okay. Delete that. And we can do this ourselves by coloring it white. Okay. And there you go. That's good enough. Oh. Okay. So that is our finished image. It looks kind of more professional, it's kind of like an actor picture, you know, for a profile, show your personality off. So really easy steps, and I, yeah, that's about it. So look forward to more Photoshop tutorials. If you have any requests, please let me know, and thank you for watching. Make sure to save. <laughs>